So I am absolutely running the gauntlet. I am doing a video on basically anything. So if you have any other burning questions or things you want to know, please post them in the comments and uh, I will most likely come back to do them if I haven't already in a topic. If you're new, be sure to subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more awesome videos. But today's video is about spending money. So if you are not interested in that, then thank you for your support. Drop a like, leave a thumbs up, as, uh, same thing, subscription, excuse me, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. But yeah, some people are asking me, so I wanted to cover it and kind of talk about it. But the number one most important things I can recommend to you, uh, by the way, if you are having trouble purchasing, because if you're on iOS, it's fine. You could just change your region, your Play Store, whatever. Play Store, your um, Apple ID region. And on Android, you know, people are downloading it from Ku App, tap, tap, da, da, da. Um, you are not going to be able to purchase because it's going to ask you to be in one of the regions that the game is officially released in. You have two options. You can either wait. Or you can uh, be on, well, unless you can create a payment method for one of those other regions, which seems like a hassle. Uh, or you can be on the PC client, because on the PC client, if you link your account with Netmarble on here, go to accounts and register this email, this one, you can purchase on here perfectly fine in your native, um, for me, it's like in USD, so your native currency. Uh, and that's how I did it. But anyway, people have been asking me, and the number one things I would recommend is buying this activity fund pack. Uh, the reason why is, is as follows. For one, I'm not sure if you get the six-hour bonus without it. I'm, I don't believe you did, but we'll find out in a moment. But we're going to get the six-hour bonus, and one thing is for sure, we get the extra drops, right? The extra experience, extra gold. Uh, the gold's kind of negligible, but the experience means a lot, right? You want that as much as possible. So you're going to get that, and that was just for six hours. Obviously, you get more as more time passes. We're going to just claim my three-hour waiting one here, and that's going to give me about 15, no, no, about uh, you know, 5,000 over there. We get the bonus 1,500, so that is a lot of experience to get. So that's what I would recommend if you were looking into which ones you should be picking up. Now, there is another one that ties into the gate system. So... Gates are the next most important thing in the game, and uh, I talked about experience, I talked about gold. This is one of the main locations that you're going to be going to to get some of those resources as well. So over here, we look at it, we get experience, gold, blah, blah, blah. But what happens here is you get the additionals as well. So when you complete these, you're going to get this drop, but there's another drop that happens, uh, and there is more tied into it. So these are super easy, super straightforward. These are the best things to get. We're going to see them in just a moment when we hit the shop uh, because they've got the system where if you buy it once, you're cool. It doesn't go away. You can just constantly go ahead and decide to um, <laughs> just keep redoing it, right? So here's a look at it. The daily growth support pack. Activate uh, special sweep. This is the one for the gates. Uh, no, it's a little bit of everything. So daily selection draw ticket. So once per day, you're going to get this black ticket. When you first purchase it, you're going to get 880 of the paid diamonds. The diamonds are exclusive to purchases currently, uh, and they will probably always be. You get the daily selection draw ticket, like I mentioned, for 28 days. You get daily three free special sweeps. So when you go over to the gates, you have the ability to basically skip it, skip ticket it, if you will call it something similar to another game. Uh, but they are called sweeps in this game. You get three special ones. The special ones are important because you, I believe you cannot skip a stage if your team isn't strong enough to complete it, which when you start uh, rescanning the higher difficulties for gates, you're going to get higher gates and those are going to be harder to do. So the special sweep does come in handy. You get three for free. And then other than that, each one costs, I think, 100 of the soul essence. So uh, they are pretty costly. So three of them is, is pretty great. Up to a maximum of 84, which is just 28 times three. I'm not good at math, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no, I'm not, not at all. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, moving on. Uh, you also get the available during the growth period. Uh, you get a special sweep and funds max four times multiplay. I'm not sure what multiply means. Almost sounds like it should be multiply, but I'm not sure. Uh, you also get daily gold and experience 30% buffs and gate mission activity fund. So there's a lot kind of tied into this for just a handful of dollars. But again, depending who you ask, that may or may not be worth it because everyone values even a few dollars very differently. For me, I think it's exceptionally worth it uh, getting a ticket every day and then getting these benefits. Now, this one I think is, is, is this is the best item to buy, period. Uh, I didn't really talk much about it, but every day you'll get 200 essence stones, which obviously feed into your other activities in this game or gotcha summons, whatever. Um, also you're going to get 200 or you're going to get a daily hunter association support chest here. So this one is really nice because, uh, when it comes down to it, um, I'm not seeing the, the, the resources, but you're going to get one of these chests every day. I thought that would bring it up. Uh, but more importantly, you're getting 50 K gold. <laughs> the 50 K gold is that's a, a heaven send a, a godsend. like that one 
gold is incredibly tight in this game because you need gold for everything even stupid stuff like removing the artifact sets costs you gold so it's very hard now uh so those are the obvious ones the monthly bundles i'm not sure if they'll have ones in the future but you can kind of also see some of the things that i purchased myself they had a one plus one here so realistically depending on how much you're willing to spend all of these are worth the money right uh depending on how much you're willing to spend but this one right here in particular the ten dollar one was 1150 plus 1150 i thought that was a good value um also we come through here the daily set you have to buy 10 items uh it's a little late to be showing you this if you haven't already done it because you're not going to complete it in a lot of time you've got three days uh you have to buy 10 items total here which i mean you probably have seen it because you have to come here to claim this red dot right uh you have to buy 10 items sold here but it only counts up to a day right so what i would do and what i have been doing is if there's something in here that i need like once i bought one time i think i or twice it looks like i've bought this for uh the gold and to enhance a weapon i haven't bought these other ones uh i did buy this once as well it looks like because you get one a week but other than that i've just been getting one of these dollar ones and calling it a day i've been getting this one though primarily for that white ticket there the silver ticket you do need to do this again five days to two purchases a day to be able to get the free ssr which is not really free but it is but it's not you get the point uh it's 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 okay i shouldn't say free i should say guaranteed ssr libora that's the more important thing that it's a guaranteed character drop. now these aren't really worth it i mean these are like if you are somebody that's just gonna buy everything i can see why you would buy these but these story clear packs mission packs they just are not i think where the value is with these is not with tickets or gold it's with these other items like this a lucky rune chest what's the rate on this three percent chance to drop a heroic rune so they're preying on your your gotcha sensibilities right there because that's a gotcha within a gotcha uh so like it just that's where they're they're valuing this but i don't think it's worth that personally um this one here you get some of those you get some tickets you get a decent bit of gold i think if i were to like forcefully buy one of these it would be the, oh this one's a little different this is the hunters association support chest is that the one you get daily was that the same one? Because I, I wasn't sure if that was the one or not. Okay, so that's why I've been getting this one daily. Okay, no wonder. So that one is that one is also a part of that. That one's a good drop. So, um, if I were to buy one, it would probably be that second one with the with the ice elves or whatever on it. Because you also can get those, and these are not great. They're not great, but uh, not this one. They're not great because. Um, you know the the chances aren't great but you get a crap ton of them and you can get potentially good drops the rates are very bad so i wouldn't rely on these but you know there's that but i'm still not really all that much invested in this i'm not invested in pretty much any of these there was only one that i bought i'm pretty sure there was only one i bought and i'll explain why uh so this one same deal these are all about the same like to me they're all about the same value uh hard mode story clear pack one so again this same value but what's happening is they're doing more of these rune chests like i mentioned earlier and these seem to be completely inaccessible you can't even get this without purchasing so at least right now at the time of the recording i did pick up this one not because i thought it was particularly worth it but because i had the diamonds because i would i bought some other packs and i'll show you in a minute which one i really liked uh, and I bought some other stuff, and then I did get the diamonds, and this was, I think, 35 or 5,000 diamonds specifically needed. So, in this shop, there's nothing I really care much about here either. This is one of those, like, if you have it, go for it, I guess, type places. But I don't really love anything here, even with the diamonds, like I just mentioned. You know, I didn't really go for it. Uh, this supply box is the one that comes in that pack, so you get these one of these daily. If it decides to refresh... And again, these can either drop an SSR weapon. Most of the time, you're going to get a key or something silly like that. I mean, it's still useful, but you're not getting the big drops, obviously. But I did buy this. In my opinion, this this was really worth it. Um, they weren't lying with the 800 value. I can't see the monetary numbers. For this. I think I think it got to like 35 or $40. I think the whole thing cumulatively might have been about 100 But there's a lot of diamonds and a lot of gacha tickets and a lot of gold so this in my opinion was the best deal by far if you were looking for a bigger deal in the game 
and I bought it in chunks. Like one day I bought one, two days later I bought another, and then I did a video and I was like, okay, well, as a content creator, if you don't know how that works, I can do videos. And if I do a, if I do videos, it doesn't matter what it is, but say I buy gems for a summon video, I can then use that money uh, as a tax write-off for my filing of taxes and I basically get it back. So like it's, there's nothing lost if you're a content creator. You can, you can whale on these games as much as you want. You know, because it just, it just basically is just a write-off because it's a job. It's work expense. Funny little, I guess, loophole, but kind of not really. Um, so in this shop, I did buy a few of these. It was the same thing as, like, you know, I I um, had extra diamonds and stuff from the other packs, like the relay packs, right? Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to ever buy this, though. I don't really think this is worth it in particular. Now, the last thing that's really in here is the battle pass. And unfortunately, the battle pass isn't one where if you buy the deluxe pass, you get the premium as well. You've got to buy them both separately. Now, I don't think that the premium pass in particular, what's this one? Player weapon chest. That's a fun one. I haven't seen it before. Uh, let's see the rate. 6.6, 6% chance. It's just for an SR weapon though. Like, I don't, I don't care about this. I don't, I just don't care about this. Um, I'm sure some people could use that, but just a gotcha for an SR weapon, I don't care. Um, what is this one for? This is for an SR hunter. Again, I don't care about that. But I do like some of the other stuff, like these resources and stuff. These are not things that you really need to go out of your way to buy. So I don't really think that this is worth it. The most valuable thing in this premium pass is going to be the gold and this top couple of items here, the skill scrolls too are sneaky a little bit hard to get and then the weapon enhancement stuff is apparently a big roadblock but i don't mind this one that's that's 63 tickets that's basically an entire rotation of summons on a premium gacha that you can use for chaheen when she comes out whenever you don't have to use this on Choi because unless they create some new ticket every gacha banner they're going to go through it appears pity will also be going through and pity picks up when you hit 64 so you can buy the a free rotation which is 100 not 100 uh 70 to 80 summons on one banner for 18 bucks that's that's really good by any gacha standards that's really good an entire rotation for 18 bucks is be damn good if you spend money on gacha games you know what i'm talking about but that's not all you get you also do get the rune chest here now unlike the other rune chests this one is interesting uh can you get this anywhere battlefield of times so you can get this in game okay so it's not pay only but uh this one is interesting you can acquire one of these uh epic epic i believe runes so that is on point as it says here these are just going to be stronger runes um that apparently are not really anywhere but battlefield of time or fusion so they're basically going to be impossible to get. <laughs> at least right now until they make rune farming easier rune farming is just all over the place so what i would recommend here if you i will probably it's, it's got 38 days i'll probably at some point buy this and i'll just pick up the deluxe path you may be inclined to also get the premium. I just don't really think the premium is worth it. So in hindsight, I complain about them being separate. I wish that the deluxe was like $22 and I could buy it and get the premium track as well. In fact, there shouldn't even be a premium track. It almost feels like there's a premium track because they didn't want to make these icons small and they wanted one icon per track, like one item drop per track. Most games are going to give you like two in one row. You know what I'm saying? Um... But like this one is only going one 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 instead of two two, you know things like that. Uh, so that's that's the last thing to purchase. Now the only other tricky thing with the game is your value on some of this stuff may get skewed depending on what content you're taking on. And the reason that's the case is because they will be running other side events like this that say level up your characters. So all of a sudden, you not only have to, and I don't really think this is great value either. You not only have to consider like the individual value of like a, a pack that would give you level up resources, no matter which pack it is, right? it, but you also have to consider whatever events are ongoing. Like I don't, like I said, I don't think this event, like this, this is okay. These are, these are good, but I don't know that this is really worth it overall, especially if you're not going to hit a top rank, because if you're not a top overall rank, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's almost one of those things where it's like all or nothing unless you put a lot of a lot of value on just the point achievement rewards which again i just said these purple ones are good all this stuff down here is good right these last five rewards are all really good so i reckon in fact all these items are good i recommend worrying about these 
but I don't know that I would recommend anybody spending on it. Same deal here, where it's like buying resources, to get more resources. So it's a little bit of a double dip, um, but I'm not sure that that's something that you need to really do. So hopefully uh, you guys understood everything. We went through the entirety of the shop, but I gave you the most important things right off the jump, which is gonna be those two packs, the one that pertains to the gates and the one for the activity funds. Uh, and, well, I think those, again, I think those two are the, together, but uh, the other one that gives you the daily drop of gold is super strong along with the item, uh, the chest and the essence stones. All of that for about $10 is, well, okay. For me anyway, it's about $10. Obviously, uh, money changes depending on where you're at. So I think all of that for about $10 is pretty good value. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you were new, and I will see you all in the next video.